didn't take me seven seconds. Why did it red light me? Something about Larson going to the game with a golf cart. Larry's car, he couldn't make it up to the lanes. So he he was just being funny and said, I'm gonna run you with the golf cart. Apparently nobody told this to the, to the tower. They activated the tree as if there was just one car. So when Larry turned on his beam, it, it red lit me. We're just glad to move on to the next round. I'll promise you, if he red lit, that out. It was set for one car, and they had, yeah. And then it, and then it cut so Birdman it, off. So it red lit Birdman, though. No, no see, no, see, look at Chuck Which side, hey. Look at Chuck Which side was the red light on? So I can hear Chuck over there running his mouth about Larson winning the race. You know, the only reason why he's doing that is because Birdman is direct competition to Team 405. You know what? I'm not going to let this stand. Bird can take that raggedy ass trailer and truck and he can head back to hey, Houston right hey. now. Folks, you won't believe what's happening down here in the starting line. Chuck is over here trying to say Birdman's out due to the malfunction of the tree. Chuck, you can Chuck, talk all you want, but I'll tell you, if he red lit, he's out. Don't put that in my face. Hey, you ain't got to get all upset about it. No, I'm going to say no. You ain't got to get upset about, about it. Talk about start me. Talking I'm not talking you? I'm not talking about you. 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 Let's do it. Just not here. Just not here. Let's do it. Nail Chuck in the face. He, he was like, he was trying to scratch me. Or talk to the microphone. Yeah. About Birdman. I was just up at the line, talking trash, having fun. I know Birdman won the race fair and square. And now it's going to happen. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock in the out. You wait. Pretty much it turned physical right, and you know, any grown man ain't gonna stand there and get water thrown on their face. So to me, you have now challenged me to a duel, it's time to go. He's done a he can get it again when he comes over here. I don't give a if he wants to actually like square up, I don't give a I had to grab Chuck and somebody grab boosted. Boosted got away. Yeah, Boosted ran away. There's a true rivalry between Texas and 405, and it got between Boosted and Chuck. Nobody's safe. There's definitely a rivalry. We're not all one big happy family here. It's 405 against Texas. Come on, dude. The rivalry between Texas and Oklahoma goes way back. But in No Prep Kings, Texas, it's not just about state pride. Here we go. There's $40,000 each race on the line. After nine events, game on, baby. The points champion wins an extra hundred thousand dollars. That's over four hundred thousand dollars in one season. Man. No other no prep series offers near this much money. With so much at stake each race, tensions are gonna run high this season between the drivers, their teams, and the state they represent. I know you're not hurt, I'm, but I'm saying. I, I'm perfectly good. Yeah. Some things got heated. Uh, you know, Chuck and Boosted had words. It was a whole Oklahoma, Texas thing. When you've got a bunch of group of guys with a lot of testosterone flying around, that can happen. But we're here to race. We don't need anybody going to the hospital. I fell short the first two seasons. I don't plan on that happening again. So I drew Kelly Blue Ball first round. I've raced him a couple times. He's never beat me. I'm going to take advantage of that and move forward. First two seasons, the 405 has been at each other's throat to get to the top, and I'm, I'm as guilty as anybody is. But just like we've always done on the street, when we come together, we're almost unstoppable. And I think so far it's really helped us out. Good run, dude. Hey, good run to you, brother. Marilyn, I owe every single one of y'all an apology for everything that just happened. That's all I can say is I'm sorry. Y'all don't need to see that stuff.
take care of business. We got a new strategy this season, Team 405, teamwork. If we all come together, we are gonna be undefeatable. So that was probably the best thing that could have happened. My name's Axe Mann. I drive a 63 twin turbo Chevy 2. I plan on kicking ass this year, actually. I mean, the car is flying. Still shaking. Still shaking to a spin. $40,000 should be enough for anybody to race for. I don't know why he Chuck thinks he's got to be Billy Badass and add two grand to the top of it. Just like he called out a broke car and they wouldn't race him. Well, then he tries to add $2,000 pot to me when he knows I ain't even made a pass, not even one full pass. Last season, we run a nitrous combo. Over the winter, we made a ton of changes. We actually put a big block Chevrolet with a Pro Charger in it. And right before the season started, a few weeks out, we had a catastrophic failure. So we started all the way over from square one. So today we're gonna to be just trying to make it to the next round. Let us get it figured out. And I'm gonna make him turn it down every week. Chuck's gonna be saying, yeah. no, nah, I don't want that. They got our, yeah, they got our This season, the gloves are off and the 405 and I are fighting for every win. We aren't going down to Texas again. And now that Boosie got in my face, things got a little physical, that's just one more reason to dominate today. OKC is killing it so far. We got six guys moving on, and I'm going to be the seventh moving into round two. I don't know what happened in high gear. The car was sluggish, didn't have the power I needed. I'm going home, he's moving on. Look, today, my car didn't perform, my temper got the best of me, and I'm a spectator from here on out. Now that I'm out, it's my job to make sure one of my 405 guys wins this entire event. Woo! Man, that felt good. <laughs>